Greetings, Glitter Gang, and happy Monday. Welcome to Catherine Scraps Live. My name is Catherine, and welcome back to the Vintage Staples album series. I've been on vacation, which feels weird to say, because I don't think I've been on a vacation vacation for years, question mark. But um, so I'm back from vacation. And we're going to be continuing with the album today. What we're going to be doing uh, this afternoon is we're going to be making the third element to go in between these two pages, which is going to be one of the file folders. So we're going to make a file folder. I got some elastic cord. I want to make a way to hold the file folder shut uh, with that cord. And I'm just looking now for where I put my instructions to myself on how to make the file folder from the video that I did on how to make the file folder, um, which I think I like smartly wrote right on the file folder. But unfortunately, I have lost the file folder. So that's where we are. Uh, <laughs> so that's where we are. Um, but that's what we're going to be doing in this episode and this will be on uh, YouTube to watch permanently as well as in the archives like previous uh, parts of the series. I bet I did something really smart with it. All right, well, while I continue to look for it, I can tell you, uh, okay. So tonight there's not gonna be a show because I was finally able to get a hair appointment. I've been trying to get a hair appointment for like three weeks now. Oh, look, I found it. Okay. Phew. All right. Okay. I've been trying to get a hair appointment for three weeks now. You know, there's only so many types of uh, salons or people that I would trust. I trust with my hair because my hair is bleached and has fashion color and it's like it's a lot to change the color of my hair. Um, and so I was finally able to get an appointment and it was, it's for 4.30 today. So I am literally gonna do the show until two and then I'm gonna get in my car and I'm gonna race to the salon. And they told me they booked me for four hours. So that's how long they think it's gonna take, which means I'll be done at 8.30 if nothing goes wrong. And that's, then I would have to literally race back here after having sat in a salon chair for four hours and do a show. And I just don't think I have it in me. Just, I don't think I have it in me. <laughs> So, um, so no, we're just going to do the one show today and we can't, we can't go over, um, because I can't be late. Um, however, uh, yeah, that is a long time. And it, the reason it's so long is because they have to do correct, corrective color, which is what this whole process is called it, when you're changing from one color to another, when your hair is dyed one color and you want it to be dyed a different color the process of getting from A to, to D can have a lot of steps. Um, so, and I've been through this before. Um, my longest corrective color experience was 11 hours total over two days. Um, so that's the longest it's ever taken to change my hair from one color to another. Um, and so, but, but so two days, two, I had to come back because they closed. I had to come back because they closed. So, <laughs> just so the next day. So that was the longest it ever took. So, you know, four hours might be optimistic. I, I don't think it is because I don't, it's not, this is not going to be as arduous a process as that time. Anyway, the other thing is, I don't know if I should have a show on Thursday at all. Um, and if I have a show on Thursday, I don't know if it should be book club. Uh, things are like crazy right now. My parents get into town Wednesday, tomorrow, tomorrow or Wednesday for my sister's wedding, which is Saturday. Friday, we have to drive to St. Petersburg to do the dance stuff. So we have that on Friday plus the wedding, anything to deal with the wedding. I still don't have a dress, by the way. I have the backup dress, but we have two more dresses arriving Wednesday. Um, 
Oh my gosh. Anyway, there's a lot going on. So I just think maybe what needs to happen is the first Thursday of June will be book club because I don't want a short shrift book club because I have a lot going on. So I think I'm just going to preemptively say there's a 90% chance there won't be any classes on Thursday. We already knew if there was going to be a class, it would only be the afternoon class. I think I just need to like leave that open as a possibility, like leave that open for me to do any last minute wedding stuff. And then we'll just do normal classes first Thursday in June and that'll be book club. So, okay. So that's what we're going to do. So no class tonight. Class this afternoon is the last class of whatever this month is, May. Um, yeah, May. And <laughs> as I check, as I check on my monitor to see what month it is. So, um, so yeah, so we, so this will be the last class of May. Tonight, I will be getting my hair changed from green to blonde. Um, and then I'll post a picture on Facebook once that transformation has occurred. Uh, so you all can see. And then um, thir Thursday, no class. And then first Thursday in May will be the book club discussion of the Logger Queen of Minnesota, which is this month's book. And next month's book is Deacon King Kong by James McBride. And I just want to say my library has a nine week hold on that book. So if you don't already have it on hold, you should check your library to see if it's available. That is Deacon King Kong by James McBride. That's the June book. So, all right. Anyway, so that's all that. Okay, so let's get into the file folder. So, um, do I want it to be this color? Do I want to make it out of pattern paper? Or do I want to make it out of the darker cardstock just for something different? What are your thoughts? Let's, let's narrow it down to this color or this color. So, either this color or this color. One or the other. All right, and so I'm just going to set this here. I'm just going to hold this here just for a second so you can just quickly pause, screenshot, jot down, whatever. But also just be aware that there is a separate video on how to make this somewhere in this playlist. Uh, so if you're watching on YouTube in the beginning of the playlist, there should be something on how to make this file folder. And then if you're watching in the archive, same thing. All right. So All right, so let me know what you think. Fi file folder, file folder, or darker cardstock file folder? What your thoughts are. And then we'll get back, we'll get it in into making it. And whichever one we do, we of course can do another one another time you know it's not like they all have to be fresh cream or they all have to be cocoa or whatever you know all right so i have cut a dark brown piece and then i have the i'm going to keep this strip to make maybe we'll make some whole reinforcers later who knows and then I'm going to go ahead and get this going. So we start with a piece of 10 inch by 11 and 5 eighths inch cardstock. And we're going to score on the 10 inch side at half an inch. And then we're going to flip it end over end and score at three quarters of an inch. Oh my gosh, this cardstock just doesn't want to get scored. Okay, then we're going to flip it back over and score at one inch. All right. Then we're going to score at nine. 
flip it end over end like this, score at nine and one quarter. And then flip it end over end again and score at nine and a half. Okay. And then turn to the 11 and 5 eighths inch side and you're going to score at six inches. Okay. All right, so go ahead and put your scoreboard to the side. And fold along all the score lines and burnish, AKA Fat Slab. And because we scored, you know, back and forth, make sure you accordion your sides. All right, so it'll look like this on the side, like a little wing. All right. All right, so now you've got the two accordion sides, okay? And what these do is they kind of close off the little bits here. So what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna place, uh, gonna line the main score line down the middle up with a line on my mat, okay? And then I'm gonna line the one inch line of my ruler up with that same line and then I'm gonna cut from the score from the edge down to the innermost score line and then I'm gonna cut from the innermost score line down to the edge. Okay, and then I'm gonna just flip it around and do the same thing. So I'm gonna line the same score line up with a line on my desk and then line the one inch line of my ruler. Oh, actually I don't need to do that. Scratch that. Then I'm gonna uh, line the one inch line of my ruler up with the uh, top edge. The top edge, the top edge, the top edge. All right, okay, so at this point, we've got something that looks like this, okay? So these two pieces that I just folded in, that's what we're keeping, everything else we get rid of, okay? So I'm gonna remove the score line. So when I cut this, I'm removing the score line, not just the, not just the, uh, not just the excess flap, but I wanna cut the score line off as well. And then you can use your paper trimmer. This is quite a long way to cut by hand. You know, I do it by hand because I'm pretty steady with a pair of scissors, but ruler and a craft knife works as well, or just putting it on your paper trimmer. Okay, all right. So now you have something that looks like this. We're gonna punch it with the punch board, but I'm just gonna show you that the way that it goes together is we are gonna collapse that accordion and then fold it closed, and that's gonna make our file folder. 
but it's going to get a file folder look by the punching. So, all right. Okay, so I'm going to punch with the uh, envelope punch board, the uh, original. I know they have a tab board, but I don't own it. And I'm going to do two and a half inches. Let me just measure because I do like the amount that this one is. Three. Okay. Three inches. Let me just write that down. I'm just going to write punch at three inches. Okay. All right. So punching at three inches and then coming back and punching right on the edge. Okay. So I have that. And then I'm going to flip it end over end and do the same thing. I'm going to punch at three inches. And then this one uh, is the one that's lower. So I really don't have to uh, punch the end. I only have to punch it once. Okay. Then I'm going to go ahead and get my trimmer. And I'm going to line up with, I'm going to line the lowest point of the punch, of the dip, not of the notch from the punch up with the wire. And then I'm going to cut from the edge in. So I preserve that tab. Okay. I got a little bit of fuzz there. So that means that this uh, blade is probably getting to the end of its life cycle. All right, so I have this now. And now I'm just gonna go ahead and round this corner with my quarter inch rounder. My half inch rounder. Okay, there we go. So that's done on the top, all right? So now we have to just remove this, this slice from this notch to the edge so that the tab is more obvious. So it's the same process. I'm just going to line the lowest point of the notch up with my, uh, sorry, I'm going to flip it over so it's at the bottom. And I'm going to line the lowest point of the notch up with my wire and then cut up to that notch. All right. And then I'm going to half inch corner round this. All right. Then, and I'm actually going to half inch corner around this as well. So that all the corners are either tabbed or rounded. Okay. All right, so when it's closed, it'll now look like this. So you can see that they are the same. Okay. Before I... Um, adhere this shut. I want to cover it with pattern paper, but I also want to um, figure out how long my cord needs to be to close this. So what I'm thinking is I'm going to put a hole like here. How do I want to do this? I want to... Hmm. I want to kind of follow this vibe here um, so that we could pull it over. Now, the only thing I have to contend with is, you know, how do we keep, I don't want to pull the tab down. You know what I mean? So I think the way to avoid that is to just make sure that these two holes are inside the tab. So that way it can go over the tab pretty easily. And maybe that's my best bet. So that means that they're going to have to go. Uh, let's see, this whole thing is basically eight inches 
just, it's not quite, but it's close. It's not perfect because I cut the sides off, you know? So um, it's a slightly less than eight because I cut the sides off. Um, but if we come in three and a half inches from each side, they'll only be an inch apart. Do I think that's enough? And I'm definitely going to want to put them low enough that you can't see them, like, unless you kind of open the thing. So that's one way I could do it. The other way I could do it is just to have the one hole and to have it come over the side. Maybe that's the easier way to do it. I think we'll just do the one hole. And I think I need, to, I'm going to wait until after I put the pattern paper on it because I'm just now realizing that I would want my eyelet to go over the pattern paper. So we're going to just leave it flat for now, but I am going to go ahead and prepare the tabs. All right, there we go. So I'm going to just kind of burnish them once they're in their little sort of stacked position and put a piece of 3 8 inch tape on the flaps. Okie dokie. And that way we'll be ready. All right, so to do our pattern paper, we're gonna need paper that is, let me write this all down too. All right, so pattern paper Okay, so this piece is going to be eight. This piece is eight by six. Okay. And so we want a quarter less than that. So I'm going to say on the tab side, um, instead of being eight by six, it would be seven and three quarters by six and three quarters. And then on the notch, it's going to be seven and three quarters still, but it's going to be shorter. So it is five eighths, five and five eighths. So cut off a quarter and it's five and three eighths. Okay, so that's the pattern paper. All right, so that's, we just need to pick two pieces of pattern paper for this that are going to look good with what we've already got going on. So let's take a look at our paper and let's go to this versus that and see if we have like a plaid or something. All right, so that's a possibility. I kind of do like that plaid. I think I've already used some of the plaid, so I'm gonna have to see if I have a scrap big enough. Of course, I don't have to do the front and the back both with the same paper, but if I want to, I'll need two sheets. I guess I don't. I don't have any extra of that somehow. Huh. 
Where did I use it? I wonder that I use so much of it. Strange, strange, strange. Okay, well, whatever. All right, so I'm going to go ahead and... Okay. Um, find something else. <laughs> um, oh, here it is. All right, here it is. So I do have two of them. Okay. All right, never mind. And then for the liner, just so that there's something on the tab, I want to do a liner. And we, for the liner, we'll use a scrap from here. We'll just use a scrap. And it'll just be lined, you know, far enough down that looks good. And I think I want to use, I've got a decent chunk of this yellow piece that's on yeah, there we go. That'll make a cute liner. Okay. All right. So let us start here. So I need, let's start with the, the tab, which is 7 and 3 quarters by 6 and 3 quarters. All right. So our vacation was good. Um, I think I'm now like officially past where I'm getting enjoyment from the theme park aspects of Orlando. And I should say I haven't been probably to Orlando since 2010. Um, because we used to go to Orlando pretty frequently when we lived in Miami because friends would bring their kids to see Disney and we would meet them, um, you know, at whatever park on whatever day worked for everyone. It's not six and three quarters. That measurement's wrong. It's got to be five and three quarters. But let's just double check. Yeah, it's five and three quarters. Okay. That's this measurement. Okay. Um, so we've been, you know, we've been to Orlando, to Universal. It's all of that many, many times when we lived in Miami. And back then, uh, they had pretty, uh, Florida resident passes that were really good deals for season tickets for Florida residents. None of them have those anymore, um, which is, you know, our first sign that commercialization is a thing. Okay, so now I'm gonna tab this, and before I tab it, I'm gonna go, the, like it's, of course those theme parks have always been extremely commercialized, but like it's so, the money grubbing is like on another level now. It's kind of just shocking, <laughs> so. Shosh. We found it shocking, <laughs> you know, as people who have been there before, thought it was expensive before, thought you were charged nickel and dimed before, you know, and now it's like, it's unreal. It's unreal. <laughs> we're talking like, um, we were at Volcano Bay, which is Orlando's water park. And when we got there, the sign said that the park's at full capacity, so you can't leave and re-enter, uh, which we were we found infuriating because the whole reason we picked the hotel that we picked was because it was walking distance from that park, so we could go back and forth easily, you know, leave and come back. Um, and I was like, that's just so when they leave, they can sell the tickets again. Like, it was so obvious that that's what they wanted to do. Or, and then, th so it had the, like, effect of trapping everyone in the park, 
because the people who, you know, like you couldn't leave and go get lunch. You couldn't, you had to do everything there. Um, I don't know. I have a, I have a bad, like we had fun, but most of the stuff that we enjoyed was not related to the theme parks. It was other things that we were doing. Okay. So we're going to put this in. So what I need to do is when I punch it, I need to punch it on this side. So I need to punch basically the reverse. So I'm going to punch it at two and three quarters and, um, the edge. So we had fun. We had a good time, but I just don't need to go back to a theme park ever again. Like, you know, we talked about this in the car on the way back. I said maybe a place like Bush Gardens that's just about roller coasters and isn't about trying to like sell you some fantasy or whatever. But like the whole Disney Orlando, give us all your money because this is magical or whatever. I don't, I don't need it. I don't need it. I think maybe two and seven eighths might have been better. Um, we'll test it on the next one. So anyway, I'm over it. It's fine. Like we didn't have a bad time. We had a great time actually, but it's, I'm definitely like, and I'm not, you know, I'm not upset about it. Like I'm, I was already not a huge like Disney person anymore. So, you know, whatever, but it just, like, I just felt like we would see these parents with all these little kids. And I was just thinking about like, I'm going to use the three eighths inch side of the yellow corner chomper. So it'll nest in the half inch side of the blue corner chomper. If you've ever wondered what the difference is between them is that the yellow one makes corners that nest inside the blue one. So I don't, I don't know. I, I was just watching these parents with these little kids and just thinking about like, you know, growing up, like for us, part of the way we afford, we, my parents were able to afford to go to places like this is that we would pack a lunch and put it in the car and then we would all eat, eat our sandwiches in the parking lot or whatever. If you can't leave and re-enter, like you can't do stuff like that. I don't know. I just felt kind of bad. <laughs> so, I just felt kind of bad. Whatever. So, <laughs> but we did a lot of like hanging by the pool we ate at a ton of great restaurants we had a lot of fun just like chilling and being by ourselves we saw a performance of anything goes um so yeah we had a lot of fun but um not at the theme park portion of it so i guess i'll say you know, at least I don't feel the need to try and plan any more theme park vacations. Not that I was planning a lot of them, considering I've lived here since 2017 and it hasn't really come up. Um, but, you know, it was just weird. You know, we both noticed it, that there was a different vibe there than there was last time we were there. Which I realize probably makes me sound super old. Back in my day... But, you know, it is what it is. <laughs> so. All right. So I'm going to write punch at two and seven eighths on this one. But like we had reservations one night for a place in the in the Universal City Walk. And that was after we had checked out of our hotel so before anytime we went to the city walk we had walked they had like a path from our hotel to the city walk so we had walked so we didn't know parking was thirty dollars and i was just like excuse me so like when we pulled up to the parking kiosk and saw that it was twenty eight dollars i just told the guy i was like we're here by mistake how do i get out of here and he's like i put this sticker on your car and you go drive over that guy that says security and then you can go out his gate and i was like cool and like we i called and canceled our reservation and we just found another restaurant in town and we ended up having probably a better time at that restaurant but it was just like that was my final straw you know <laughs> i was just like you want me to pay you 30 dollars to eat at a restaurant like this isn't even an amusement park it's just a shopping center so anyway um yeah gretchen says so many people spend so much money on taking their kids to disney because they think they have to and i think that's yeah like i think that parents 
feel like maybe they owe it to their kids or something to give them this magical experience. Or, you know, they want to do it for their kids because they went when they were younger and it was a magical experience. You know, but I think it's less magical now, I guess is what I'll say. Okay, so now we're going to line the inside. And so I'm going to follow my new instructions, which is seven and three quarters by five and three quarters punched at two and seven eighths. And we'll see how much better it looks. But yeah, I just felt bad for the parents. Like, I did. <laughs> I just felt a lot of empathy for the parents while I was there. You know, some people can easily afford that, but some people, they save and save and save, and then it's just like, yeah, I don't know. All right, so... Yeah, that's, I have enough. It doesn't go quite all the way to the bottom, but I've got enough that you would not notice that, you know, so it's fine. All right, so I'm going to do the same thing where I'm going to put the tape on the top and then punch. You know, and I'm sure some of the people, like, you know, could totally afford it. It was not a stretch, but... I just, it's so expensive. It's so expensive. Um, and, you know, we used to be able, like, I remember when, before, back, back when we lived in Miami, Animal Kingdom used to have this picnic lunch, and it was very affordable. Um, it was not priced the way park food was. And it was like a chicken in a basket with some rolls and some drinks and some fruit or something like that. You know, it was just like a rotisserie chicken and, and some fruit and some, maybe a cookie and a drink or something. And it was very, very affordable. And so we always got that when we would eat there. Well, they don't even do it anymore. You know, and it's like, because why would they want something very affordable? <laughs> they don't want you to have anything affordable, you know. So it was just a lot of stuff like that. So, um, and then, um, you know, Partway through the conference portion of it, uh, Mr. Lifeguard got a notification that um, two people at the conference had been diagnosed with the 1-9 um, and then, you know, the CDC guidelines. But luckily, Mr. Lifeguard was not on the list of people who had close contact with those people, so we didn't have to quarantine or any of that. Okay, so I'm going to try 2 and 7 eighths and see if I like the way that looks better and then chomp, um, luckily, and we are fine and we never developed any symptoms or any of that. Um, but that was also just like one of those like, great, <laughs> that would be the perfect end to this vacation. Yeah, two and seven eighths is correct. All right. Um, Melanie, I'm sorry to hear that. I hope they all have a swift and complete recovery. All right, and then once again, this one is nested, so I'll use the 3 8 inch side of the half of the yellow corner chomper. So anyway, but yeah, we did have a great time. It was very relaxing. I felt very relaxed when we got back. Um, we uh, were able to get all the shopping done for Mr. Lifeguard for the wedding while we were there. So we were able to cross that off our list. Um, and um, so he's all set for his outfit. And um, so that was really nice to accomplish. I wasn't able to get my hair done. I tried to get my hair done in Orlando as well. Couldn't get that. Couldn't get an appointment. That's fine. Whatever. We ate at a bunch of cool places. We ate at um, the Boathouse, which is a Disney restaurant in Disney Springs. 
which is an outdoor shopping and dining area that Disney has. By the way, they don't charge you to park there, so I guess I'll give them that, whereas the City Walk, which is Orlando's version of that, they do charge you to park there. Um, so, you know, I guess a thumb sideways to Disney for that one. But, um, yeah, we were able to get that done. And I found a pair of earrings that matched. It was it was crazy. I found a pair of earrings that match. You know that ring? Have I shown you the ring my parents got me for Christmas? Question mark. That matches my turquoise necklace. I don't know if I have. I'm going to cut another half inch off the sides here just to get it a little bit lower. So I'm going to line the score line up with my mat and then I'm going to try and kind of flatten these a little bit. And then I'm going to line my ruler up with the line that'll take about a half an inch off this. Um, so that was super nice. And then, um, just, just chilling and not having anything to do. I read, did I read the Lager Queen of Minnesota? No. Did I have it with me? Yes. Um, <laughs> I had the audiobook, but I did not listen to it because um, I didn't want to put in my headphones. So <laughs> I just read stuff on my Kindle. Um, and I, I can't get the book for it. I can only get the audiobook because there's a big hold for it on my library. So did some of you join my library? Because I'm having a lot longer holds on the book club books than I anticipated based on how things were looking at the beginning of the year. So... <laughs> I want to know. I want to know <laughs> what's going on there. So, all right, yeah, that looks better. So now it's not touching the curve. It was touching the curve a little bit, so I just gave it a little shave. It's fine. Okay, so now what we're going to do is just find the center and punch a hole. And no, I can't find the, s oh shoot. Um, okay, so if I do it like right in the center, which is what would kind of be normal, we run the risk of not being able to get the loop off because there's a ring in the way. So we have to be very thoughtful. On each of these, we're gonna have to put the hole in a different spot because we're gonna have to be thoughtful about where we're sticking the file folder and how we're gonna be, no, scratch that. Let's, okay. It's gonna be impossible to close this with a elastic band, I think. Unless I just do one here and one here and it just loops over the one corner, which is probably fine. I mean, we just want something to keep stuff from flying out the top. So that's what we'll do. We'll just do one corner. All right. Okay, so. Oh, I am majorly lifted here. All right, so what we're gonna do now is we're gonna put like, like here and here. So I'm just gonna mark with a pencil kind of about where I want the, them and then I'll measure, I'll measure in, but I want one to be kind of here and one to be kind of here. All right, and then I'll just, find an actual measurement so I can give it. Yeah, so what I think what we'll do is we'll go two and a half inches in and three quarter inches down. And then it'll be two and a half inches down and three quarter inches in. So what I'm gonna do, 
just to make this a little bit easier on myself is I'm gonna get myself a scrap piece of cardstock and I'm just gonna make a template. So I'm just gonna cut a three by three piece of, I'll, I'm cutting a four by four piece of cardstock. All right. All right, so here I have a four by four piece of cardstock and I'm gonna come two and a half inches in on two intersecting sides. So on this side and then on this side. Okay, so those are my two, two and a half inch lines. And then on each of these lines, I'm gonna come in three quarters of an inch. Okay. So in these two intersections, that's where I'm gonna punch my holes. And I'm gonna use my quarter inch hole punch, which is the green power punch. And all I do is just line it up so that that is like straight in the target like a bullseye or straight in the hole like a bullseye and then punch. Okay. Then what I can do, <laughs> I'm getting little punch doodles everywhere. All right, so now I can just put this here and draw my two circles and then they'll, give, they'll tell me where to punch with my holes, okay? All righty, and then that'll work on any placement where we're punching holes in the bottom of this. So we won't have to worry about that. All right. The other thing we did randomly one night is we watched one of the channels was playing Top Gun, the original Top Gun, because I guess the sequel question mark is coming out soon. And um, so we, uh, we watched Top Gun and I don't know that I think it, I don't know. <laughs> Do I think it stood the test of time? Maybe not, maybe not. <laughs> So, but anyway, they were obviously doing some kind of event, marketing event related to the new movie coming out because um, they kept showing like really like extended commercials that were talking about the new movie. All right, so now we're gonna set the eyelets there and add our string. And um, so the movie's plot, the new movie's plot, appears to be that, well, and one thing I didn't remember from Top Gun, granted, I don't know that I've ever, like, really sat down and watched Top Gun, but anyway, um, like, I think I've just seen bits and pieces of it here, there, and, and it's mostly cultural osmosis for me, but at the end of Top Gun, spoilers for Top Gun, by the way, which I think is a 40-year-old movie, so... Um, at the end of Top Gun, he has the opportunity to be a fighter pilot again or something, and he declines because he's, you know, like, his 
growth arc or whatever is that he doesn't need to be like the hot shot best of the best of the best with honors or whatever anymore and so he decides he's just gonna be a teacher which I mean fine I guess but anyway so he that and so that's how the movie ends <laughs> and then um so now I guess that they've gone with that, that he did do that. And he teaches at Top Gun or has, or whatever it's called, has been teaching at Top Gun, blah, blah, blah. And um, now the plot of the movie is that he's old um, and he, all the young pilots like disrespect him or whatever because he's like a super old or whatever which i'm fine and then um now he's gotten his new class of hotshots pilots and one of them is uh goose's son and so there you go so there's gonna be some tension tension because they're not but they're not besties they're not besties all right, so, okay, now, here's what we're gonna do. Um, so, I don't know, but it just looks, I, uh, it's, uh, uh, I mean, um, all right, so we're gonna come in from the back And then, ooh, do I need to have more than two holes? Let me ponder this. If I only have two, okay. All right. So what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna close it and figure out how kind of big I need this to be. by stretching it. I don't know if this is going to work, to be totally honest with you. Okay. All right, so now I have my piece. And let me measure it. It is just about six inches. Now I'm going to use, I have black tape. This is gaffer tape. I always keep gaffer tape in my office because we use it a lot in the wiring, doing all the wiring for the lights and stuff. So I'm going to take a piece of this. And I'm going to just... Stick this to it and is this going to work? Do I even know what I'm doing? No. Have I ever made jewelry before? No. All right. So I'm making kind of like a little aglet. And gaffer tape is um, for electrical stuff, but it's matte. It's got a matte finish. It's for use in, like, originally for, like, theater, backstage, that kind of thing, so that it won't shine or be reflective in the lights. All right, so I'm going to give this a little burnish. All 
And then I need to tape these two to each other because I don't have like a little bell or any kind of dongle to use. And again, I'm going to burnish. All right. Oh, I have an idea. Just to make this a little easier on myself. Maybe I'll staple them together. Okay, that's just gonna temporarily hold them until I can wrap the tape around them. Okay, and that's it. So there we go, you guys are fine. All right, now back inside. Okay, so theoretically, we should be able to just flip this over like this. Well, look at that. Ta-da! And it is now holding it closed. We did it! Woo! Okay. So, we have our closure for that. It's a little bit of a different closure than we've used before, but it looks cute. All right, now we can do the, and this is just elastic cord to make jewelry. That's what this is. All right. So now I have two more things I need to do. One of them is we're going to have to put holes in this. Oh, we still have to put our pattern paper on the front. So let me do that. So we'll do our pattern paper on the front. So we have the, the green is what we're using. So we're going to use five and three eighths by seven and three quarters. Let me just double check that five and three eighths. Yep, that's correct. All right. <laughs> All right, five and three eighths by seven and three quarters. So that's going to go right there. And let's maybe put a card on here or something like that.
we have that card already cut out so let's just go ahead and use it and then just for something I'm gonna cut out a camera and put the camera like by the arrow or actually maybe right there we'll just we'll play around with where the camera's gonna go but uh that way we can have a camera All right, so I'm just putting tape on the back so that when I cut it out, it'll be a sticker. And this is from the Echo Park collection, this, this versus that. And um, Echo Park and Bo Bunny collections are available digitally. I certainly, I know Echo Park is, but um, I think Bo Bunny is too. So you may be able to get the Echo Park collection and the Bow Bunny collection digitally, um, but I don't think American Crafts makes their stuff available digitally. So I don't know about the uh, crate paper. All right, so I'm just gonna give the edges a little hit with the ink, nothing major. Hmm. No, we just have a, <laughs> that's not gonna work. We'll just go ahead, I'll just leave it like this. Not everything has to get. <laughs> All right, turned into a thing. Okay, so now I'm gonna um, put the tape on the back and punch it. And We will go ahead and try to figure out how to set the eyelets without using the corner chomper, or not the corner chomper, the big bite. Man, there's so many. Okay. All right, so now I need to punch at two and seven eighths and on the edge. And then slicey, dicey. Okay, now use the 3 8 inch corner chomper to chomp my two edges. And I'm gonna use, I'm gonna tape this and use the half inch or yeah, no, the quarter inch corner chomper to chomp its edges. And actually, now that I'm thinking about this, this would be like this, so maybe we need to find something else. So let's go to 
our paths of journaling spots. There. And see if there's anything vertical. Relax here at the lake is not working for me, but you know, I guess it was vertical. To do today, nothing. Maybe I'd like something a little larger. Okay, so this one is a perhaps. I, uh, this is a little bit better. I never want to forget this. We could definitely. All right, I'm going to use the one that says, we didn't realize we were making memories. We just knew we were having fun. And we'll put this like in the center of this. I'm actually going to give it a thin brown line. To help give it more weight. All right. So the cats, uh, my sister texted that the cats didn't miss us at all and that she was kind of sad about that because she thought it meant they were heartless. <laughs> but, <laughs> but when they, when we got back, they were very happy to see us. Um, the second Kitty and Tiny saw me, they ran over and they both laid down right at my feet and rolled over onto their backs and they were touching each other and they hate each other. Uh, so they were so happy to see us. They forgot, they temporarily forgot their hatred. <laughs> so. All right, so I'm gonna chomp these with the one eighth inch chomper. So we were like, oh, okay. You're not totally heartless. All right. So now I'm going to cut a three quarter by four and a quarter. And round its corners with the quarter inch. Okay. And then we'll just stick this on the back. I should have taped the brown before I chomped its corners, but oh well. Oh well. I'll just use ATG.
All right. So put that down and then I'll ink these edges. Ooh, the lid came off and I grabbed it. Now I have ink on my hand. Fantastic. I'm gonna show up for my uh, hair appointment, a sweaty, disheveled mess, and she's gonna be like, no, what have I gotten myself into? <laughs> But yeah, now we had a great time. It was very, very relaxing. And Ta-da! So that's how it's going to look in the book. How cute is that? All right, now, oh, the tan lines. So I do have very light, you really have to be looking for it, but I do have a tank top tan line, very, very light from one day from walking around a park which is a little unfortunate, but it's not enough that anyone will notice. Like I, you really have to be looking for it in my opinion. So, but I did, I did technically fail the directive not to come back with any tan lines. <laughs> so oops, 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 oops. <laughs> All right, so now I'm gonna center this on my template. I think it'll pass mom inspection. I think so. Like I said, you really have to be, you really have to be looking for it. Like, so. But she asked um, when I was getting my hair done and I, you know, yesterday she asked me that and I said tomorrow and she said blonde, I hope. And I said, well, I was thinking about lavender with fuchsia highlights. So and she said, oh, hell yes, you're hilarious. So anyways, <laughs> so that's how that's going. Um, all right, so I've punched my holes. And now what I'm going to do is I'm going to use the quarter inch um, power punch to punch all the way through. And let's see how we can get these holes punched. So here's what I'm thinking. I'm thinking if I'm careful that I can maybe use my corner or my regular big bite by squishing them into each other. And you'll see what I mean in a second. All right, so by what I mean by that is if I take the eyelet and the grommet and I put them like this, okay? And then I close it so that it goes through that hole, then I should be able to come in and punch. And what? Oh, it went through. No. Okay. So that didn't work. Obviously, it was going to go through. I don't know why I thought that was. <laughs> <laughs> I temporarily forgot how eyelets work. All right. So let's see if I can pry them apart.
<sighs> All right, can you just come apart, please? I'm just gonna, I'm asking nicely. Can you please? Well, shoot. Ooh. Yep. Great. I have now stabbed myself. Okay. The one time, exactly, the one time the eyelet's like, yeah, I'm not going anywhere. Don't worry about me. All right, so we've got the front and the back redone. Oh, goodness gracious. Let me get some alcohol for my finger. <sighs> I should just give up. I don't, I need to just not craft anymore this week. I have too many things on my mind, you know? So, and so I'm making dumb mistakes. <laughs> Okay. All right, so I've only minorly stabbed myself. It was a small stabbing. Okay, so we've got those two edges done. So now here's what I'm thinking. I'm thinking for the middle, maybe one thing I've never tried is what would happen with the big bite if I didn't use an eyelet. Now, what I suspect is nothing will happen because that's just, you know, how it is, but we'll see. We'll see. So I'm gonna try and use the big bite. Sans eyelet. I hate the big bite, honestly. I mean, it's so hard to use for me. Why is it's like the part of the eyelet that's flat? They want facing up. All right, that's it. I'm just gonna turn this freaking thing over. Yeah, it barely does anything. You're, you're trash, you know that? You're trash. Do you even feel remotely bad about what a piece of trash you are? Hmm? 
Hmm? No, you don't. You don't. Cause, cause trash never cares. Trash never cares that it's trash. Okay, so it works exactly the same, which is not really. Okay, I'm gonna try something else. It kind of, okay, wow. All right, fine. Oh, wow, well, that didn't work at all. So if it, it's, um, well, I don't know, it's okay. That kind of did it. Is it a little misshapen? Yeah, like it's not perfect, but it's, Close enough, you can't even tell that it's misshapen, really. All right, so we'll start it on the useless Big Bite. And just like lean whole entire body weight on it. Okay. And then well <laughs> we cannot finish the last one in the big bite or in the, well, it's, it's just going to be loose, but that'll be okay. Um, they'll, it kind of will work. This kind of works, but not really <laughs> because it can, it, it, it can kind of squish them, but not really. What other, what other implements do I have that will squish things? <gasps> Ooh. What about you? If I tighten your screw all the way, a hammer would work. Maybe. It's still loose. Eh. I don't think I have a hammer up here, unfortunately. So I'm going to have to improvise a hammer. Um, hmm. Well, you're kind of hammer-like. Maybe the big bite will work. Oh yeah, that did it. So that's how you use the Big Bite to set the eBay eyelets. So what you do is you get the eyelets started in the Big Bite and then you repeatedly smash it 
with the back with the back of the big bite until it's not loose anymore. And that's the tutorial. <laughs> so <laughs> that's the tutorial. So that's how you can use the big bite <laughs> to set to set the eBay eyelets. All right, so now that we've got our eyelets, all we have to do is peel this tape and close the folder and then the folder is complete. More uses for all of our tools. I exactly. Exactly. All right, so now we've got Yes! All right, so this can go in the book. Oh, I'm excited. I might get a call, a, a, a call from Big Bites Marketing Department. I don't, for, because of my creative new use of their product. Okay, so now it's in there. Oh my gosh, isn't it cute? It's so cute. Ah, I love it. I love it. I'm happy. They may try banning my show. Well, the last time I placed an order with me on Memory Keepers, they canceled it. So. I am already banned, I think. <laughs> so, um, so there, that was. <laughs> if all else fails, use it as a hammer. Exactly. Exactly. So. All right, so there we go. Okay, now the only thing left to do to finish this off this page is to make some inserts for the little pocket, the file folder. So what we can do is just stuff to go in there. So let's take some, let's see, let's do one, two, three, four. All right, I've got two four and a half by six and a half pieces of brown cardstock. And we've got one of those tags. Ooh, we've got a couple tags. All right, so we can load up the pocket with these. And actually, I'm going to put, uh, I'm just going to use two of the photo mats and then I'll put um, photo mat blanks and four by six cards on the other side. So because my, I have my photo mats are all pre-cut for me by a invitation company. Um, I always have, you know, a stack of them. So let me grab two more and then we'll stick these to the fronts and then we can use stuff like, you know, we can add this to the photo mat so that it fills the, fills the five by six or the six and a half by four and a half space like that.
and we'll just grab two of these one a journaling one and one just a Man, this fruit fly. Oh, it's fruit fly season. We came home to fruit flies. We were like, great. It's good to see you guys again. We missed you so much. We missed you so much. So anyway, Stormy's, he's got a new thing, which is that when I have eggs for breakfast, scrambled eggs, he wants to lick my plate. And so this morning I had eggs and I set my plate where he will normally come and eat whatever's left of the eggs. And um, it's usually he's just mostly just licking the plate. Um, but Mr. Lifeguard came through and put the plate away and um, Stormy was just like staring at him. Um, and he was like, what? And I said, he's mad at you because you stole his eggs because he likes to eat the eggs. Um, and at that moment, Stormy just looked at him and yelled. Like he just yelled right at him, um, which we thought, <laughs> I thought was hilarious. And <laughs> Mr. Lifeguard was like, you don't even know what we're talking about. But then he put the plate down on the floor and he ate that, uh, licked up, licked up the last of the eggs. So <laughs> he did know what we were talking about. He knew. All right. So let's look for something journaling ish. like this. All right, then we'll stick this down. So now we've got in our pocket, okay, let's see if there's one more, maybe we'll do one more. This is the family one. I want to use as many as I can from the camping one because I'm never going to go camping. Although my sister is trying to talk me into going glamping because she found a place that does everything. You just show up. <laughs> um, and I was, I was like, maybe, maybe. But, you know, it's still not going to be air conditioned and there's still going to be bugs. So I don't know if I even want to go glamping, you know? <laughs> Why don't people understand that I'm indoorsy? All right. Okay, so we're going to take one that's not blank and one that is blank and stick them together. All right, and then we need a photo mat.
Oh, that would be cute, Gretchen. Uh, Gretchen said, you know, it'd be cute would be to put a small file folder in the big file folder. We should make, remember that for next week and let's make um, some Matrushka file folders for this. We'll make a, a set of file folders. That'll be cute. I'll try to remember it as well, but as you know, my brain is small and delicate these days. What? I, I didn't even cut this the right size. You see? See? <laughs> so, uh, I don't even know what size a file folder is anymore. or what size of photo mat is. All right. Chaotic energy. That's what we have here. Chaotic energy. Okay. All right, so we'll stick this one in as well. So now we've got three photos to go. All right. Okay, so we've got the first page and the inserts between the first and second page is done. So when we come back next week, we will have, oops, let's put its little corner on. Okay. So, uh, it's too cute. A whole album of these. A whole album of these. Just three rings. How cute would that be? How cute would that be? Put a little hardcover on it with a little, with a little uh, cord. I mean, come on. That would be so cute. Oh my gosh, we should do that. Should we do that? Should we just give up on this one? No, I'm just kidding. <laughs> I'm just kidding. We'll finish this one. All right, we'll finish this one. But how cute. Okay, so next week, when we come back, and we can put something on the back of this if we wanted to. Can we put, we can't fit a photo mat. Okay. Well, we'll think about that next week. Maybe it'll become obvious what needs to go here. But we'll, we'll work on the next page. Yeah, I'm still on vacation brain, and it's slowly being replaced with wedding stress brain. So... Um, you know, that's where we are. Ooh, maybe we'll do this with a little tag. Let me just, um, I'm going to close pin this here so that I remember that I had this idea. All right. Okay. So that is what we're going to do. So we're going to work on this page. We're going to do the back of this envelope to match. But so far we've done all of, I think we've used at least one of every staple we made. Um, but, and our, our album's going to be chunky when we're done. I mean, it does have a clothespin in it right now, but it's going to be chunky. It's going to be chunky. So, okay. So I am going to ski daddle. I'm going to go quickly pull myself together and hop in the car to get my hair done. Um, and then I'll be back next Thursday. Not next, not this coming Thursday, but the Thursday after that the Thursday after that. So a week from Thursday, I'll be back. We'll do book club and we will, I have to clean my desk later. I don't have time for this. Okay. We'll do book club and we will continue on to the next page in this book. So I am really super enjoying the Vacation Staples album. I love how it's looking so far. I hope you are as well. I'll be back to continue it and hopefully my it, it will be ha we'll have less chaotic energy next week but we'll see we'll see don't count on it <laughs> don't count on it all right thanks so much for watching everyone have a wonderful weekend a wonderful evening and i will be back on thursday june 2nd yes thursday june 2nd 
and we will have shows at 2 p.m. Eastern USA time and 9 p.m. Eastern USA time. And they will be on this album, and we will be discussing The Lager Queen of Minnesota, which is this book right here. So thanks so much for watching, everyone. Have a wonderful weekend, and I'll see you next time. Or a wonderful week, actually, because it's only Monday. Have a wonderful week, and I'll see you next time. Bye now.